It is sweaty ball kind of heat in here and I am dying. Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Honestly, need to get rid of having a spinny chair because I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Anyway, today is a little bit of a story time. I don't know why, I just feel so compelled, compelled to have this specific story time because this is something most people experience as children and I had the opposite reaction until honestly so recently um if you can't guess by the dentist i've had my first bad experience with a dentist um so when i was a kid like i literally had no issue with dentists none whatsoever i loved them i was going i was like i want to have a look i want to see i was all up in it and i've always had really positive experiences with my dentist i have been really lucky that i've pretty much had three dentists God, my neighbour's singing. I've pretty much had three dentists my whole life um, when I was a kid and then I had someone until before COVID and then after COVID I've had a separate dentist, the one I have up to this day. Really lucky that I've always had super lovely dentists, okay? Um, I have routine checkups. I have a checkup every six months now because I'm getting my wisdom teeth and this one down here is impacted. So I have closer monitoring on it, which I'm really privileged and lucky to have. Um, I had my routine checkup coming up and then they were like, oh, we've had to cancel it. They didn't even tell me they cancelled it actually. I just got an email saying, oh, your appointment's on yada yada date at this yada yada time. And I was like, I wouldn't have booked that day. I don't remember booking that day but and it's booked my diary the day I've booked and I'm working that day so I wouldn't have said yes before I knew I could have booked it off. Go to my dentist I'm like okay they're all the dentists are all in the same rooms every time so I sat next to the room I was meant to go into and um no one told me otherwise, no one told me how to go upstairs, so I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna sit here because that's where my dentist is. Got to my time and he came out, I was like, this is me, and he called someone else. I was like, he's just running late. It's fine. And then I hear my name from somewhere else, so I was like, okay, I'm confused. I know I booked with this dentist, by the way, because I had him. He asked me to come back in six months. I booked him, I booked it in. I said I wanted the same dentist. I had confirmed that I had the same dentist. So either they'd cancelled my original appointment and moved me to a different dentist and then when I said I couldn't do it, I'd stayed with that dentist or they hadn't informed me, either way they hadn't informed me, but they hadn't informed me when I was rebooking my appointment, it would be with a different dentist. I go upstairs, I'm not that fussed because like I've said, I've had positive experiences this whole time. So I'm like, yo, I'm fine with a new dentist. I'm easy, I'm breezy. I sat in the chair, I laid back. Normally, um, my dentist would ask me questions. He knows and obviously he's on file like with my wisdom teeth. I've had a fluoride deficiency in my teeth since I was really young. So it's on my record. He barely spoke to me in this dentist. I was like, that's weird. And he was just really nasty. So like I'm sitting in the chair, I've put all the way back. Normally my dentist will like, have a conversation with me um he'll check all my teeth you know every single one of them he'll do an x-ray because i have an x-ray i've had an x-ray since i came back to go into the dentist after covid every single time i've had an x-ray because of my impacted tooth um and it is the only reason i go it every six months so i was like expecting an x-ray i was expecting everything else and then he was like oh yeah your wisdom tooth has broke i was like uh okay and I was like feeling it I don't know if you have had your wisdom teeth you can tell me this but I will bet a thousand pounds that now my wisdom teeth are broken like I will put that money in because I have a very vivid memory of when my teeth used to come through as a kid don't remember the falling out I blocked that out but like you could feel the difference between your tooth and your gum it's not broken it has not broken the surface whatsoever so that was my first inkling I was like okay um, I'm not gonna argue with my dentist where the hell is your dental degree from because honey I know that's not broken because unless you're recounting my teeth wrong that bugger is still in there and that bugger is still under there 
get me an x-ray and I was like it's fine because he'll take an x-ray and he'll see oh okay there's actually a tooth that's behind that that hasn't broken he didn't he then proceeded proceeded oh, to get the really sharp tool that literally looks like a drawing pin attached to a handle and push into my back teeth do I get it they go over them they check them they tap them yada 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 had that every time sometimes they put a bit of force in if they think it's something odd in there he literally didn't even touch any of my front teeth he just went straight for my back four and was very persistently putting a lot of weight into it to the point that I had to put my hands up and be like stop like I was not okay with this experience he was like oh you've got a hole in the back of your tooth and I was like mm, do I now really pissed at this point pissed and he was like yeah you've got really bad decay as well I was like mm, really now um he's like you've got low fluoride I was like if you figured that out the first time why did you proceed to put so much weight into my teeth now the reason I am hesitant about every single thing on here a I have no pain none at all which isn't always a sign of cavities and everything because you can have them really early and you don't have any pain two like I said I go to the dentist every six bloody months and if I have really bad decay I'm sure my dentist would have told me hey it looks like you've got signs of decay coming in your back teeth we really should address this don't get me wrong fluoride can come on I might not have had it that bad for that long but if I'm having fluoride issues so bad that my teeth are decaying six months ago why was I not pulled up on it do you see where I'm going with this I all of a sudden switch dentists I all of a sudden have holes I all of a sudden have a fluoride issue and I all of a sudden have very bad decay get a little bit of scarring I am still on the fence I actually have no pain in my back tooth whatsoever I'm so annoyed and I understand why kids don't like it now I loved it I am I'm a serial brush my teeth I brush my teeth every morning every night and that way people have bad experience with dentists now and I've told this story twice or three times one to my grandparents they pretty much got it straight away to my mother and to my other half and each time I've said it has got less angry this is the most demure version of this i also don't know what to do if you have any advice on this situation or if you've been in a similar situation please let me know um because i'd like to know i'd like to know if this is actually something everyone experiences and i've just had a really big privilege of being like hey yeah do you know what i've been lucky and i just picked up a bad dentist later on or this isn't something that really happens um I don't really know but I'm taking my fluoride toothpaste and using it twice a day using the right amount I'm not a skeptical I am not someone who will go hmm, okay to a nurse or a doctor if they tell me I'm unwell and I'm not someone who would question a health professional in any formality you got your degree I did not in this I will believe you but I do believe in your own intuitiveness towards your body and knowing what's right for your body and what's going on with it and there's just something for this whole situation and this whole dentist trip that doesn't sit right with me and that that is why i feel like this not because i am someone who questions a healthcare professional never question your healthcare professional 99 percent of them are there to help you and make you better and they don't get paid enough to do their job so you know not my aim but something a smart fishy about this but that is my experience so please let me know if you've had one similar or if you have any advice for me because i potentially am gonna need it um i wish you all the best and i will see you next week with another video spam